Hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition of HTV. I'm Scott Robs with University of Hawaii assistant head coach, inside linebackers coach, Mark Banker. Coach, thanks for joining us. Well, Scott, thank you very much. I didn't know I had a choice, though, so I thought I'd show up anyhow. Yeah, you really drove us <laughs> to be there, and you came, so we appreciate that. <laughs> coach, your second stint at the university, but it feels like it's this has always been kind of a second home for you, hasn't it? Oh, uh, no doubt. Now, on the stint, I, I just hope that the second stint is <laughs> a little bit longer. longer than the first one. The first one wasn't <laughs> very long, but, you know, over the years, uh, specifically at Oregon State when I uh, uh, was coaching there, uh, there was such a connection uh, from the past, even before I got there, back to the 60s with uh, Skipper Diaz, Rockney Freitas having gone to school there, and, uh, uh, and then uh, Hawaii kids going to school, not only just at Oregon State, but uh, the Willamettes, um, uh, Linfields of the world, and things of that nature. So uh, came over here every year recruiting, uh, even when we went to Nebraska, uh, went uh, and came back twice uh, when I was there uh, and recruited. So. Uh, I never feel like I really left the islands. When it comes to recruiting all those years, you're trying to get the kids out of the islands to the mainland. Now you want to get them to stay at home. How do you change your approach when you're out recruiting? Well, you know, the, the big thing is just to understand, uh, you know, one thing, and I, I, I hear that uh, a, a lot and use it to my advantage in, in that respect because uh, there was a, a thought, you know, and a premise with a lot of the families that they, they wanted their uh, young men, and then in some cases, with obviously the girls that are uh, playing sports, uh, uh, and those that, that weren't either. Uh, but uh, you know, to, to go to the mainland, experience the mainland, uh, and then come back uh, with that knowledge and make Hawaii a better place. And I, I think that's still going to happen. The ones that want to take that opportunity, to have that opportunity, will. The most important thing for us is to the the athletes that. Uh, uh, need to stay home and it fits them uh, to number one make sure that we evaluate those that can play and help us uh, and, and be a better football program uh, that we don't miss on those and then work very diligently at making sure they do stay home and and uh, obviously have the have the advantage of playing in front of family uh, friends and then uh, represent their state you're the assistant head coach slash inside linebackers coach what does an assistant head coach do I, I'm trying to figure that out on the run. I, I don't know. I think it's just a fancy title. Uh, no matter what your title is, uh, you're part of the team. Uh, and then specifically, my charge is the, in, uh, the inside linebackers. And my, my job is to make the inside linebackers uh, better and uh, fit into the system that we have on defense uh, and uh, stop the bad guys, make sure they have one less point than we do at the end of the uh, uh, end of the day and win football games. Well, you look at the inside linebackers, you look at the linebackers in general, that's the real stud position, I think, defensively. You've got some real talent there. Well, gee, uh, come on, Scott. I mean, we've, we've got to really build those guys yeah. up, you know. I've, you know, I've got a big job at hand. But, <laughs> but no, I'm very fortunate, I think, that we have uh, uh, some players that have, have ability, have talent, um, and we're in the process at this point in time of finding some, some new roles for them, too, because uh, if... Uh, if we have a player or players that are stacked up in a position, um, you know, the bottom line is you're trying to find the best 11. So uh, uh, we've been making some moves there, kind of spreading the wealth, cross-training some players at two different positions to hope, uh, again, to make us a better defensive football team. So many new coaches on this staff this year. I'm sure all of you have crossed paths at one time or the other. How's it going in terms of getting along with all the other coaches? Oh, uh, well, we won't say fantastic right now, but re really well. No, it's fantastic. <laughs> um, you know, uh, Corey Batoon and I, uh, we met way back in the, probably the late 80s. I was at Cal State Northridge, and I believe he was at L.A. Pierce. Mm -hmm. And we would talk on the phones a few times. Corey came over to practice, so we've known each other over time. Um, somewhere along the line when he was at Arkansas State, I can remember calling him because I was interested in uh, some zone pressures with a, a cover two concept and I heard that they were doing it and come to find out he was on that staff. Uh, Mark Weber, uh, God, uh, we've never worked together but it seems like we have. Um, you know, he was uh, uh, at, at UCLA specifically in the, in the Pac-12 so that was, uh, that was a common ground there and then uh, when I was at Nebraska, we just played them uh, when he was at Fresno uh, and always knew people. We have a common, couple guys in common, friend-wise, friend uh, Gary Bernardi, one that's at Colorado. They work together at UCLA, but that's this business right. as well. Uh, Jacob Euro was just up the street, 
you know, when he was at Pacific, and at Pacific, the head coach he worked for was my GA at Stanford. <laughs> uh, Abe Aluminian, I, I had an opportunity to work with uh, Solomon, um, uh, the brother that played here as well up in Canada. I was up there for a month preseason just this past year. So, you know, again, in this profession, uh, it's a big uh, kind of fraternity, a social circle, and that's what it's all about anyhow as far as uh, getting out and knowing people. And eventually, somebody like myself, you stay in it long enough. I've, this is going into my 39th season. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll get to know a few folks. Well, it sounds like you're having fun. I think the players will have fun playing for you. And we look forward to watching you guys on the field in the fall. Well, I appreciate that. I, I look forward to watching us play in the fall. I'm really excited to do that. All right, Coach, thank you. Thank you. Mark Banker, assistant head football coach slash inside linebackers coach. I'm Scott Robbins. Until next time, thanks for joining us on HTV.